that are new to my channel welcome my name is Betty and I do all kinds of video you guys um, before we begin if you haven't yet already make sure to subscribe you guys what are you guys waiting for join the family I do um, upload every Wednesdays and Fridays you guys so when you do subscribe make sure to turn on your post notifications um, that way you are notified every time I upload a new video um, so today I'm actually going to dye my hair again, you guys. I actually went from black to like a berry um, color, which was kind of like a little mix of red and purple. Um, I kind of let my hair just kind of bleed out and stuff. Um, so this is how it's looking right now. Um, so my goal is to go from this to like a grayish um, tone type of color you guys so um a couple of years ago you guys i actually had my hair super long up to my waist um and i went from like a brownish color to completely totally gray um i'll insert a picture here um and that was actually so expensive you guys that actually cost me like about four hundred dollars i went to go get it professionally done um but she completely like destroyed my hair you guys um my hair felt like gum um it didn't matter what i put in my hair it was just so bad that that i actually had to cut my hair um and ended up cutting it like super short like a boy and when I tell you that I cried for days, you guys, I cried for days, like no joke. I'll put a picture right here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, so you guys are probably thinking right now, like, girl, no, don't do it. You're crazy. After that bad experience, why would you um, continue to bleach your hair? Part of my hair is a little, somewhat healthy. I wouldn't say it's 100% healthy, but I'm just like tired of like the dark colors um i love the way gray looked on me so i'm going to try i'm going to risk it you guys i guess so i'm gonna bring you guys along with me on this new hair journey you guys so stay tuned gloves you guys these were only 12.99 at sally's usually i use this product called icy blue or something like that um but the girl actually recommended um this one because it's less damaging to your hair and it actually um brightens your color a lot more um but this is from ion bright white and it's a cream um and it's a cream bleach you guys this is how it looks and this was i believe like 20 dollars, you guys um you do have to mix it with um with You do have to mix it with developer, you guys. So I got the 40. <clears throat> and this is the color that I went for, you guys. This one is called Titanium. Okay, you guys, so this one is in the color Titanium. All right, so let's get started. All right, you guys, so um, I am going to do um, for every ounce, two ounces of the volumizer. Um, I'm going to use the 40 only because my hair does have a lot of red in it, so I need it to lift. Um, otherwise, you guys could use the 30, which is the one that's recommended. Um, make sure you can always use the 20, 30, or 40, but make sure you guys never use the 10 because uh, the tent uh, volumizer is for color depository so it's to um, bring out the color two ounces so that's about two ounces right there then I'm going to add the 40 so for every ounce so for every ounce, you add two ounces of volumizer. So I did two. So that is two ounces right there. And 
then that is the four ounces, you guys. Mix it. So me and my hubby have actually been um, dyeing and bleaching our hair um, for a long time now, you guys. He's actually done like a whole rainbow um, color for me and everything. Um, if I find a picture, I'll insert it as well. Um, so we kind of know what we're doing, I guess, hopefully. Hopefully, if I've never used this um, cream bleach, but I've heard like that, at least from what the girls at Sally were saying, that's one of the ones that they recommend, you guys. All right, you guys, so this is basically how it's looking. Um, like I said, I've never used this one before, so I'm hoping that it is right. Um, but I'm going to divide my hair, you guys. Also, the only thing with like the 40 volumizer, like um, that's usually the one I use for like my son's hair and my guy's hair when I do theirs. Um, but technically, I mean, I'm not supposed to use um, 40 on your scalp because it would like burn it. Um, so we'll see how I do this, you guys. Um, because my hair is long, so this is gonna take me a while, you guys. Um, also, if you are planning to bleach your hair, you guys, make sure that you don't wash your hair the day before or the day of, um, only because you need the oils in your hair uh, to protect your scalp you guys very important so if i usually don't wash my hair um that often i try to do it at least two uh times a week only because washing your hair too frequent is actually really damaging to your hair you guys So I had to quickly um, mix some more because you don't want to have um, your other side pretty much processing and stuff while you still haven't even touched the other side, you guys. So what I should have done, because I knew my hair is long, you guys, so I knew that wasn't going to be enough. Um, so I'm just quickly, 
quickly mixing some up in this other bowl. see the roots might have I might have missed and stuff because I was trying not to really go too close to my scalp And this, you guys, is going to create instant heat. This is how it looks. Um, so, like I said, this is going to create instant heat, you guys. Um, so make sure that you guys are checking it every like three to five minutes. Um, because like I said, you don't want your hair to fall off. Um, but you do need it to, you know, to create some heat. Um, sometimes you do see like steam coming out of your hair and everything. Don't get scared. Um, just make sure you don't leave it on for too long after that. Um, also, let me see. I am not a professional, you guys. So um, I highly recommend that if you've never bleached your hair that you consult a professional, you guys. Um, or Google research YouTube some videos on professionals that know how to do it. Um, this is just the way I do. I've been doing it for quite some time now, for years. All right, you guys, so I've left this on for 45 minutes. Um, I don't really recommend leaving it on longer than 45 minutes. The usual time is supposed to be about maybe 25 minutes. Um, but I usually do 45 minutes um, even when I do my son's and my hubby's hair. Um, so I am going to wash this off. Um, and I am going to use the purple shampoo. This one's just uh, Shimmer Light Shampoo Blonde and Silver. Um, you guys, so this basically is supposed to like eliminate any like oranges or yellows um, in your hair. Uh, so it's pretty much like, um, what's it called? A... <sighs> I can't think of the word. Um, but toner you guys it's pretty much a toner um so we still see a lot of the red you guys my hair feels super hot i don't know if you guys can see all that heat coming out of it but there's still like a lot of like red up here so i might just have to do this over again but just probably do it in the areas where it is red you guys yeah i know you guys could see that but there's still a lot a lot a lot of red so yeah let me wash this off and then i'll show you guys the results all right you guys so this is the result um it does come out super super light um but um I pretty much couldn't get these like red spot areas out um, and actually it's a lot lighter than what it is coming off on camera you guys um, let's see if I can change the lighting so you can see it better hmm. 
And I think that shows it a little bit better. Um, I put toner in it, which was that purple shampoo, you guys. Um, but as you can see, like there's still some red streaks um, in my hair. Obviously, the ones on top. And then like right here and stuff. And then like back here. So what I am going to do is basically let my hair air dry because the last thing you guys want to do when you guys bleach your hair is put heat to your hair, you guys. That is a no-no. Don't ever bleach your hair and put heat to it after doing it because it will literally make your hair, it will come off, it will break off. Um, and my hair is feeling a little bit gummy. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but it does feel a little bit gummy, you guys. So what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to let it air dry. It's late at night right now, you guys. So hopefully by tomorrow morning, um, my um, hair is completely dried. Then I will have the hubby pretty much um, bleach the red areas only and um, whatever like dark spots I missed in the back. So it's not gonna be a complete full um, hair bleach. Uh, it's just gonna be the areas that need to be bleached up. So um, I will show you guys the result tomorrow, you guys. All right, you guys, so um it's the next day and i pretty much just had my guy touch up um whatever like big chunks of red were still in my hair it's just so frustrating because i don't know i didn't think it was going to be this hard for the red tint to come off or the red dye to come off um but this is some of the red that's still on there um my hair does feel hella damaged you guys so let me show you guys um this is how it's looking um so i don't want to um do another uh add more bleach to like the parts that still have red in it only because my hair is already damaged um so all i want to do now is add the hair dye so that i can add the oils and conditioner and stuff that i need to get my hair back to healthy condition you guys so um i don't know if you guys can see but yeah my hair is how long you guys um it's really only the bottom that feels pretty damaged but there's still a lot of like red and like dark yellow tones you guys but this let's see you can see some red there but that is not coming off you guys so we will see how it comes out um like i said i don't want to keep bleaching my hair because it's gonna end up falling off if i do so let's just move on um and add the hair dye you guys So like I said, I am going to be using titanium from Ion. Um, and this one, you don't have to add any um, volumizer to it. You can use it straight out of the tube, you guys. But um, I am going to add some conditioner uh, just to kind of um, give some moist or some, or hydrate my hair a little bit because like I said, it's feeling super dry and damaged. Um, so I'm not gonna add too much. I'm probably just going to do like uh, two pumps. Ooh, let's see. Oh shit. Okay. I did eight pumps and that's how this looks. And then I'm just going to add the hair dye you guys it's like a dark gray kind of has some like purple tones to it you guys so since my hair is so long um i'm doing uh two of these you guys so if you have long hair or if you have thick hair make sure you guys buy enough 
because one is definitely not going to be enough. Um, hopefully two is enough for me because my hair is pretty long right now. Okay, just get the last of it out. Okay, so this is how it's looking. And you just mix it with the conditioner, you guys. left the dye in there for about 45 minutes um if it didn't grab it's not gonna grab i actually feel like it didn't have enough there's still a lot of blonde spots but i'm tired of putting stuff in my hair so i'm actually just going to wash it out um and i'm going to add some african pride moisture miracle um and you guys can see it um, but it basically has castor, grapeseed, argan, coconut, and olive oil um, with vitamin E. Um, so I'm going to apply that to my hair once I wash it. And I am also going to apply the Miele. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but this is basically um, avocado moisturizing hair milk. So it's to hydrate your hair, which my hair absolutely needs it um and i got this one at target for i believe 5.99 and this one i got this one at walgreens for 5.49 so they're not too costly they're affordable um but yeah so like i said i am going to wash this up style it put the oils in my hair um and then probably next week i will put more color into my hair but let's see how it looks now all right guys so today is the third day of me trying to do my hair great you guys so the second day that i did it i just did not have enough um hair dye product um the titanium that i got from sally's like it just does not bring enough like my hair is super long um so I just didn't have enough so i ended up actually ordering um from shipped um it's a company that pretty much um you place an order and they have a shopper and they go and get it for you and i was hoping to have it early this morning and there was a big old uh, problem that happened with that um the shopper dropped it off at a different location i literally had to wait like six hours for them to finally come bring it to me but yes it is finally done you guys i finally got to finish my hair um i ended up ordering um the l'oreal paris um smoky silver s1 you guys and this is the one I got. I actually got like three boxes of this one just to make sure that I had enough. Um, because it, it is kind of like small, but not too small. This is the bottle size that you get. Um, and I'm actually so happy, you guys, that I ended up getting this because I love the color, you guys. Um, it literally grabbed perfect. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, let me see. But... I got all my roots, you guys. 
want to make sure I show you guys how it looks. But um, yeah, I am loving the color, you guys. Um, so I basically, I still have my hair a little bit wet back here, you guys, um, because I don't want to put too much heat on my hair because... You guys know when you guys bleach your hair, especially going gray, you guys, you do not want to put heat in your hair, you guys. So refrain from curling your hair, refrain from the hair straightener, you guys, because your hair will literally fall off. Trust me, I've, I've done this before and yeah. Um, but I used my hair dryer, you guys, and I just used like a rolling brush just to kind of dry it a little bit, but I didn't want to dry it completely because I, like I said, I didn't want to put too much heat in my hair. Um, but yeah, this is how it is looking, you guys. I am so in love with this color, you guys. Um, I have been wanting to go back to gray for so long but i was so terrified of the hair damage because i mean if you are planning to do this make sure if you've never done this before if you don't never um bleached your own hair go to professional you guys um i've just been doing this for years um self-taught through youtube videos so i kind of already knew what to do and how to treat it um my hair is a little bit damaged not too bad um yeah it actually looked a lot worse than this um but this you guys this african pride moisture miracle bomb for five dollars i highly recommend if you have damaged hair or um um brittle split ends whatever i highly recommend this for five dollars at walgreens it smells so good and it literally leaves your hair so soft you guys also you guys um for those of you guys interested in doing this yourselves at home um like i said in the beginning of the video i just spent about 400 dollars to do this um from going from dark to gray and i did pay about $400 and left my hair completely damaged. Um, this time around, I paid roughly about $60. It might have been even less if I would have bought the rice stuff that I needed the first time. Um, so yeah, it's still a lot cheaper than what I paid the first time. And my hair definitely did not come out as damaged as the first time, you guys. So all for today you guys i hope you guys enjoyed my video if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribed what are you guys waiting for make sure to subscribe join the family turn on your post notifications that way you're notified every time i upload a new video